Hey everybody, welcome back to Hila Zek Art with Sean. That's me. Um, try to avoid the glare for you. So I'm gonna do, uh, just wanted to update you on something. So A, I'm really, really excited. I got my Dazzling Metallics by Artist Loft, the rose gold. So it's gonna be full of shimmer. We're gonna do that um, in tonight's. And I also got, oh, let me grab it and show you. So um, I got a 36 count from Artist Loft. And the first thing I did was took out my metallic purple because I love purple. Who doesn't love purple? I love purple. Anyway, so that's also gonna be in this one. So there's gonna be a lot of shimmer in this one. It is gonna be a triptych. So it'll be my first triptych. So thank you uh, for joining me on my journey. Um, I'm gonna get the whole thing out of the way. If you like the video, and if you like the painting, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, help me out and comment. I will respond personally to every comment and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time. Choose all so you'll get notified whenever I put up a video. So like I said, this is gonna be a triptych. It's a small one, a couple of eight by tens and a nine by 12. And we're, our colors tonight, I've got Phthalo Blue by Artist Loft. It is mixed with an iridescent medium uh, by Longback, Longbacker, yeah, Longback. Um, turquoise by Artist Loft. The Dazzling Metallics Rolls Gold by Deco Art. Uh, my Phthalo Blue Deep Red mix, both are Artist Loft and my metallic purple from Artist Loft. So uh, it is Dutch pour tonight. Uh, thanks again for joining me on the journey. All the details will be in the description below. All you have to do is click on the title and that'll pop up and give you all the information you want, including links to all the various artists that currently are inspiring me. So Canela Sirocco and the Massey Brothers and the Painted Dreamer and there's a couple more. Anyway, um, let me put the camera down and I'm going to flood my canvases and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're flooded. I'm just going to pop some bubbles here real quick. Oops. Put that down. And that flood coat is just a flow acrylic uh, white by Artist Loft mixed with Floetrol and water. And that is a two parts Floetrol to one part water. And then three fourths of a part of water. So, or sorry, so it's two parts Floetrol, one part paint. Sorry about that. Or three fourths of a part of water. So, Get my hmm, get a couple more over here. I just mixed it up last night, so it's still full of bubbles. All right, I got a little spot right there. I get that out. All right, so we're gonna start with that phthalo blue um, with the iridescent medium. We're gonna do this. Um, where? All right, and then we have the turquoise. That wasn't matched up very well, was it? I need to learn to slow down a little bit. Enjoy the process, Chris. My daughter likes to tell me my videos are too slow. I'd love to hear from everybody else what you think of this phthalo blue deep red mix. It's a one-to-one. -one. So half of the phthalo blue, half of the deep red. And then the metallic purple that I'm really excited about. Going on top by to that. I hope that 
the gold doesn't eat it all up. I'm gonna put some more of that on there. I have ordered a large tube of that. No. All right, let's move those out of the way. Let's it a lot. I love the, the gold with the, oh, the metallic purple. So I am concerned a little bit like that my white is going to eat up all the colors. So it is gorgeous as it is, but even as I sit here, the white cells keep popping up. I want to do a little bit of adjustment here. So Pardon my head. Oh, my apron hit. Fortunately, I had lots of paint on there, so I just kind of have to blow it out a little. I'm gonna need to add just a little bit of white right here so you can see that canvas right there. Fortunately, that will, I have learned that that actually will smooth out as it dries, which is nice. It's fluid, so it's gonna move and that's good. Um, but, oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna scrape the paint off my edges with a popsicle stick that uh, I need to get all my edges. So I'm gonna have to pull them apart a little bit to do that. That helps keep the drips from pulling the paint off and changing the composition that way. So I will bring you down for a close up here. Give me just a second. Okay, here you go. This is the, the little one on the left. You can see all of the cells. You can get some of the gold. It was like a little bit shimmer in there. And then the metallic purple. So I will actually turn off my overhead lights. And so I actually like this wispiness that's come out in here. That's new. I like it. I got the cells and the gold. And I just, oh, I love the combination of the blues and the purples and the gold. So I hope you guys will like that. So let me um, turn off those lights and let it kick on my. Well, it didn't actually kick on my flash. I was hoping it would kick on my flash so you guys could see that shimmer a little better. 
Mm. There's that center piece straight on. Okay. Let's see. All right, I'm going to turn sideways, see if I can get a straight up shot of the whole thing. There we go. 